Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here, and uh, I don't really, I, I still don't believe this. Um, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the console and my controller here. And uh, let's wait for the console to boot up. But uh, yeah, I still don't believe this. This is a reset glitch console. You can see the C mod there. Um, but let's go to the screen. You don't want to miss this. Uh, this right here, I mean, this is, uh, it still blows my mind. Um, this is obviously, you know, uh, not the normal thing I was expecting. I mean, I honestly didn't think it was going to work. The worst case scenario, I thought it was going to ruin the console, but, uh, I mean, I just went ahead and tested it anyway, and just, you know, Let's see if I can show my hand. You know, this is the real deal. Like, I'm going through the menus right now. Um, probably should turn that back off. Um, I mean, this is... This is impressive to me right now. I, I have, I, I don't know what's going on right now. No clue. Like I can't believe it. Uh, I'm putting a uh, debug game on uh, USB stick that I know doesn't work on JTAGs. I'm just gonna try it out. See if they're doing something tricky here. Um, you can't o the image that you create. You cannot open it with flash tool. It just doesn't read the image. So it's it's got to be something. Um, and of course, all these are XEXs from the uh, from the uh, the dev partition or whatever. These are from the dev kit NAND. Um, if you know anything about dev kits, you know they have a 64 megabyte NAND, and normal normal 360s only have 16, not counting your big block Jaspers. Um, so you know what you have to do is you put all this stuff on the external, I mean on the uh, internal hard drive in a folder called dev kit. I don't know if it's actually going to pull those. Um, if it's actually going to pull those. Uh, uh, files and actually be able to use them. I don't know if you can use these or not, and that's why I'm copying something to a USB stick that I'll then run off of here and see if it works. If it works, then I know this stuff is actually not just running the the whatever this thing is the the launcher dash launcher um, dev kit launcher, what I always called it. But I mean all the the stuff. You know, you can go into everything. You can run the memory test. If you have a dev kit, you know, this takes like 15 minutes. It'll tell you what your console is doing and all that stuff. I don't really know how it would work on a regular console. I'm surprised that this stuff is actually not freezing up sometimes. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, but you can change regions and all that stuff. Let's see if maybe I can get a better... No, nah, it's not gonna pull. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, I'm impressed. Uh, but yeah, guys, Carolina Gamer, this is just a uh, video showing you that the reset glitch consoles can boot into the dev uh, dev dash launcher or dev launcher whatever you want to call it I'm so like shocked right now I don't even I can't even think um, literally I just did this and I had to record it for you guys just so I could show it um, but yeah guys Carolina Gamer out